How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Belsif. I'm your host, Big Fat Belsif. Friggin' right I am. So I gotta get back to work, cause look at me, I'm getting fat. Getting fat from sitting around I am, so hopefully uh, someday that will happen. Soon? Maybe? But I'm gonna miss my spare time if that happens. Reality's striking, peoples. We gotta go back to work. But, my fans have spoken. Obviously, Minecraft gaming is not the Belsif thing. Very low on views and more dislikes than normal, so don't worry about it. Today's not a bad day. We're gonna get the hell out of the house and we're gonna go get some necessities. Just see what we can get into. But I'm probably not gonna bring you along on this one because we've had enough driving along videos. I might just take a little break today from the old Kamaruski until I get something better for you because I don't wanna lose you guys over crappy content. It happens, it's not quite summer, it's cold out. I gotta get off my ass and do something. I'm still waiting for a load of wood chips, Al. Hey, what's really going on? I'm gonna be back to work before you get a load of wood chips over here and then we'll just sit there for a month. I gotta get them out. What else do I gotta do? Gotta finish the trailer. Should get the RCs out today. I wanna get the rock crawler out. We should go out for a crawl. Leave a comment down below if you wanna see a crawl. You know what, I'm gonna give you a crawl today. Screw it. So wait till the end of the video here and you're gonna see a crawl video. We're gonna get the TRX4 out and I'm gonna take you for a little crawl. In the backyard or wherever, I don't care where, it's gonna go out. Gotta, we gotta get it out. Friggin' right we do. But on a good note, tonight, the street down the street here is going to uh, the sparkler candlelit deal. I'm gonna throw the drone up in the air and get some of that footage, probably. So that will be on another video, if it's good footage, you know. I, I don't like flying the drone at night because it doesn't like to do what I tell it to do at night. We'll have to see how that friggin' goes. Traded Melanie my iPad. Her iPad was dicked over, so she wanted my iPad, so I gave Melanie my iPad Air 2, and I took her original iPad back, and it's just dicked over. I can't even use it for my drone. Stacy's phone's getting old, so I upgraded her phone yesterday, so I got the old iPhone 11 Pro Max coming. And then I'm gonna give Stacy that phone. I picked up this case on Amazon, and I'll leave a link down below for it, for the drone. Now this is made for Maverick Air, of course, but you can buy it for every other drone that's out there. You know what I really like about this one? You can put the drone in with it open, so you don't have to fold it up every time you put it away. It holds all four batteries, it holds a charger, and it holds a remote. It holds your iPad if you have an iPad, and it holds all your gear up there, and, you know, all your licensing and your registration stuff, and uh, all your other stuff. So. That is a really nice case, you know, it was only 39 bucks and it's actually pretty durable. It's a good little case, so I'll leave the link down below if you have yourself a Maverick Air. Pick yourself up one of them because it is friggin' decent. Friggin' right, it's decent. This chair's in my way, it's clocking my video over. But I gotta throw the stuff in here actually because I'm gonna take this with me today. Because you never know. That video I showed you with me and my dad there, I took off with this thing and it was like this close to hitting a tree. Cause it just, I took off and it just wanted to go that way again. I'm like, what the hell's going on? And it's because it didn't recognize home or find the compass right away. My suggestion to you is if you have a drone, don't take off until it finds a compass because, unless you know how to control the drone, cause it will want to dicker it off on you, Will. And there you go, see? Battery, one on the drone. It can actually hold five batteries if you put one on the drone. It's really nice. The only thing you gotta do is put the um, little fold down arms down. Or up, I mean, when you put it in. Remember, don't set that on there with that thing because it'll overload the gimbal. I'll tell you one thing, one day, I'd like to get myself a Maverick Pro Zoom. I'd like to upgrade to one of them someday, but not right now. This thing works great. We'll see how it works tonight in the night. Tonight in the night? Where's my other cable? Where are the other cables? Oh, hey, where's one? Where did that go? Got no, 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 see now it's gone. See, see what happens? You lose it. The link will be down here for that one. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification bell bar button. If you like this kind of video, I'd appreciate it. Well, we're sitting here at Princess Auto. We ordered ourselves some curbside pliers we did, eh? Nothing like a good curbside plier, eh babe? Yep. I need a curbside plier. Yeah. Figuring right I do. But yeah, we're just sitting here, and I've been sitting here for about 20 minutes now waiting for suppliers. So let's get freaking rock and roll in here, Princess Epic Auto. So if you're coming to Princess Auto, make sure you call in ahead of time and order your parts before you get here, and that way you don't have to wait as long as I'm waiting. 50% of people have masks on, and 50% of people don't have masks on. This guy across from me here has got a goddamn pickup truck, and he's been trying to get that box into the back seat for 20 minutes now. Should have bought a full-size four-door, or just put it in the back, bud. What's really going on? So we're gonna go into Walmart and get some food, but uh, we decided that uh, we're not gonna do the Walmart thing because they're lined up. Look at look at this, boys, girls, peoples, hey? Eh? How you doing? Who wants to stand in line to go into Walmart? Not me. Shoppers it is. Friggin' right shoppers it is. Why wouldn't we? 
There's only one person with a mask so far. Maybe two. Oh, there's no one. How you doing? You're gonna hit this person. I know I am, because she's like not even watching where she's walking. Hey, look at that guy. Looks like friggin' what's his face from Jackass. Johnny Knoxville. See that? I have to zoom in on that guy when we when I do the edit. Self reminder. Johnny Knoxville is at Walmart in Sarnia. Did he say? Yeah, we did. They're on sale. Look at them things. They're mint. Pro points. And what's the other ones, babe? These are the best little side cutters that you could ever buy right there, Jim. They'll cut through fence wire and everything. They're friggin' decent. And Stacy gave me crap because it was forty dollars and something cents for them to. But I thought that wasn't too bad, eh? Hey? She doesn't understand the price of tools. She goes. What'd you say to me? I would never spend that kind of money on them. I said, well, you don't do yard work, so how would you even know how to spend money on them? And what'd you say? I'm not doing it. I don't want to do yard work. Shoppers, Shoppers everyone. everyone. Well, I figured I'd turn the camera on there, give you the better view, and that way I'm small down there, so you don't have to look at my ugly mug the whole time. You can actually see a better view of what's going on outside the big old Chevy Silverado. What do you think? Leave your comments down below if you like that idea. For your eight better, don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell bar button. If you do like that idea, right, babe? Right. Decent. So we're just gonna go over to the old man's because I gotta pee. Just so you know, we're going for a pee break. We are 45 minutes in Princess Auto parking lot, and then another 15 minutes at Choppers. Yes, I have an hour into sitting in the truck though. So now my butthole hurt and my my doodads because I gotta move around because I'm fat. You know, I can't have this big belly putting pressure on my little little doodad down there. It's just little and it crushes it. Little Jimmy. We got a tweaker, Jim. Oh yeah. Big time. Can't go in there, lady. It's closed. That's awesome. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, I promised you. So here we go. A little crawl action. Just so you all know, I did get the uh, the weights on the rims on the inside here. We'll have to see if this makes a difference. We'll just run her in low gear. We'll just do some crawling, people. Without a problem. Yeah, she definitely takes more of a lean. You can tell already because I used to fall off this all the time. That definitely made a difference. I didn't fall. That would suck.
Uh, we're not going to be able to get across here because I took some boards out to open the fence. Same with here. Okay, we might be alright from there, Jim. Friggin' right, we might be. reverse at a hundred percent I gotta turn that down again that's from that friggin just dickered over freestyle thingy maybe I won't tear this down this is pretty cool
some track falling apart up here. I don't know if I get through here right now because of that. Yeah, I did. Anyways, there you go. Just a little rock crawl for the end of the video. We gotta do more of these because these are pretty freaking decent. Leave your comments down below. Hit subscribe. Let me know if you like uh, RC rock crawl with Dirty Old Bilsif. And let me know if you think I should fix up the rest of the track. Why wouldn't you? But hopefully everybody's having a good day like I am. It's Friday. Enjoy yourselves. It's not too bad out today. It's it's doable. Freaking right it is. Other than that, stay safe. Love you. And uh, you know what to do for now.